Uh, what will you? Th what do you think will happen with the hate crimes bill? Um, because the rumblings of retreat of support from Democrats because it's attached to the defense reauthorization bill. Well, I wouldn't describe it as retreat um, from support of Democrats, but we certainly face a very, very challenging political situation as we return. Because uh, in the House we passed hate crimes as a freestanding bill with a good bipartisan vote, uh, 237 in favor, which is a good, good majority. We sent it to the Senate where, um, as they have in the past, they attached it to the defense authorization bill. Um, it now comes back to the House with the two paired in one piece of legislation. So the politics right now are that there have been a group, myself included, of Democrats who have historically voted against um, the defense authorization bill because of um, our concerns about some of the policies included therein. Um, and uh, you know that was our way of asserting um, you know difference of opinion with regard to a number of programs that are authorized in that bill. And then we have something that we're desperately wanting to pass now attached to it. Uh, the question I think is really on the Republican side: Are they going to vote in a partisan block against the defense authorization bill in order to split off? the hate crimes provision that's been attached to it, we don't know the answer to that question. If they were to vote in one block, then you would really need every single Democrat to stay firm on defense authorization. That'll be tough, given the history of that bill. And um, yet, then the question is, are the Republicans going to be lockstep in uh, opposition to a bill they've usually historically embraced in near unanimous numbers? We don't know the answer to that yet. And so uh, that's what we're going to try to be figuring out over the next few weeks. And it is going to be a very um, tough situation. It will be interesting to see what kind of um, calls and letters and faxes will be coming in from constituents about this. Because that is kind Absolutely. of interesting. Uh, Absolutely. Very okay. Um, it, the reason the Senate has historically attached hate crimes to the defense authorization bill, though, is because generally it passes with an overwhelming majority in both houses of, of Congress and is, has almost always been embraced by the president and signed into law by the president. Now, we know there's a veto threat, but then this is one where we may be able to call the president's bluff and say, you know, here's your defense authorization bill. It has everything you want in it. Um, you know, aren't you going to sign it into law? So that's why the two have been attached. What do you think he will do? I tend to think that this is a, um, a measure in which we should call his bluff, uh, you know, see if it is a bluff. Um, this is a bill that has so much that he likes. It also supports our troops in terms of a pay raise that's desperately needed um, uh, and other, uh, you know, other provisions that keep them safe when we're asking them to do um, an incredibly, incredibly dangerous and tough job. And so I think that is why it's had uh, incredibly popular support and why, uh, why it's a savvy decision to put hate crimes onto that bill.